Okay, welcome back. Here's a chart that shows how our local government is constructed. This is extra information, but it also is connected to Election Day news now. If we look across this chart, there are four people who help run our government. Locally, it's Mayor Jenny Durkin. She's the mayor of Seattle. King County, which Seattle is in, is run by Dow Constantine. He's the King County Executive. King County is a county in Washington State. Jay Inslee is the governor of Washington. Washington is one state in the United States of America. Donald Trump is the president of all the United States of America. So if we grow by size, mayor, King County Executive, Governor, and President. If we go by size down, it's President, Governor, King County Executive, and Mayor. Mayor Jenny Durkin is the mayor now. She is not up for election. She has the job now. Dow Constantine is the King County Executive. He is not up for election right now. Jay Inslee is the governor of Washington. He is up for election right now. Donald Trump is the president. He wants to continue. He is up for election right now. Jenny Durkin is in her term of office. Dow Constantine is in his term of office. Jay Inslee wants to continue and get another term of office. Donald Trump is in office. He wants to continue and get another term of office. Jenny Durkin does not need your vote because she is mayor right now. Dow Constantine does not need a vote. He is already King County Executive now. Jay Inslee does need a vote to continue as governor. Donald Trump does need votes to continue to be president. <clears throat> issues. Seattle mayor deals with issues. Issues. King County executive Dow Constantine deals with issues. Issues. Jay Inslee as governor of Washington deals with issues. Issues. Donald Trump, as president, deals with issues. Jay Inslee wants to continue being governor. Donald Trump wants to continue being president. Jenny Durkin is a Democrat. Dow Constantine is a Democrat. Jay Inslee is a Democrat. Donald Trump is a Republican. <clears throat> Jenny Durkin is considered a blue mayor because she is a Democrat. Dow Constantine is considered a blue King County executive because he's a Democrat. Jay Inslee is considered a blue governor of a blue state because he is governor. Donald Trump is a Republican. He is considered a red president. Republican president, Democrat governor, Democrat King County Executive, Democrat Mayor, Mayor Jenny Durkin of Seattle, King County Executive Dow Constantine of King County, Governor Jay Inslee of Washington, 
Governor Jay Inslee of Washington, President Donald Trump of the United States of America. Seattle, King County, Washington, the United States of America in size. These are the buildings they work in. Mayor Jenny Durkin works at City Hall. King County Executive Dow Constantine works at the King County Administration Building. Governor Jay Inslee works at the State Capitol in Olympia. Donald Trump works at the White House in Washington, D.C. I'm going to switch back again to our other page. People are talking about the importance of this election day. Democrats and Republicans are talking about the importance of this election day. Supporters of Joe Biden and supporters of Donald Trump are talking about the importance of this election day. Supporters of Kamala Harris are talking about the importance of this election day. And supporters of Mike Pence are talking about the election, the importance of the, this election day. The Republican ticket includes Donald Trump and Mike Pence. The Democratic ticket includes Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, Mike Pence, Vice President Race, that's what they call it, when they're both trying for the same job, a race, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are in a race to become president. The race is between Harris and Pence. The race is between Biden and Trump. People will sometimes just say the candidate's last name. The race is between the Democrats and the Republicans. Now another place, I want to see if I can get this up here. Check here. Okay, if you go online, there are maps that show the states by red and blue. This is a map at the website 270 to win, which is an important number in the United States, 270. This map shows the likelihood, based upon, upon past presidential and general elections, of which states are likely to vote blue, reflection here it kind of changes a little bit between blue and red and a little bit of purple there but the blue states includes Washington and the West Coast it includes the Northeast of the United States and red states are in generally in the middle of the country the tan states are states that the according to the last votes the people who check this information called pollsters are not quite sure whether these tan states will go blue or go red. And so these kind of maps will be on the news and you'll hear about these a lot in the next week. We've been hearing about them a lot for weeks and weeks, but now as it gets so close to election day, so close to election day, these maps you will see and hear very often on whether the states are blue or turning blue, red or turning red, or a state that was blue has become purple, or a state that was red has become purple. Here's my table right now with my cards all over the table as we've been talking. So I'm just going to show them again. That's my big dictionary that helps me remember and keep track of all of the word meanings that I talk about. So I'm going to show the words one more time. Oh, one more thing. You did notice my tie, I hope. I'm wearing a red, white, and blue tie today on purpose as I talk about all of these important things. So I'm going to put my word cards back up on the chart, on the um, <clears throat> dictionary as we begin. Election day is the important day that's coming. It's an important day in our country because people are turning out 
to vote. They are vote, they are voting to determine many decisions. They vote with their ballot. And in Washington State, all homes of registered voters received a ballot envelope. The ballot is important because people are deciding about issues or ideas and candidates, the people with those issues or ideas that the voter thinks the candidate agrees with. <clears throat> the types of thinking right now are red thinking or Republican thinking, blue thinking or Democrat thinking, or purple if it's in between. And right now we are thinking about terms of office. And that might be the governor, or it might be the president, both of which offices are up for election or re-election. And all of that is called politics. I hope that this information today has been useful for you to help understand the many, many ideas happening around us right now about Election Day. Red, white, and blue. <clears throat> the colors of our flag. The flag unites us under a phrase called E Pluribus Unum. E Pluribus Unum. E Pluribus Unum. E pluribus unum. That's what's called a motto, a phrase associated with our nation. It's a Latin language, e pluribus unum, and means out of many, one. Out of many people, one nation. <coughs> And that is what people hope for and continue to strive for, is that out of many different thoughts, many different opinions, many different thinkings, many different people, that we still come together as one. Out of many, one. Thank you for listening carefully today. I hope there's lots of information that you can continue to think about, ask about at home. I know families and parents and caregivers would be happy to continue to talk to you about their thinking about politics and election day and candidates and issues. Our votes are private. We vote in private. Only we know our votes. Our names are not connected to the ballot, so no one knows how I vote except me, unless I tell someone. So if your family talks about politics and talks about who they voted for, respect that privacy, because they're sharing something important and personal and private with you. While we will hear about millions of votes and states and votes and ballots and red and blue, no one knows how each of us votes because it's private, unless we tell somebody. So if you do get trusted information of a grown-up telling you who and how they voted, respect that privacy. And it's such a private thing that people often don't ask, who did you vote for? Unless it's very close friends or family. So it would be considered impolite to say, tell someone, who did you vote for? unless it's very close family and friends. And even then, someone might say, mm, it's private. So do understand that voting is privately conducted, privately done, but the public results are what we hear about on the news. Millions of votes, states, but we don't hear about how a person voted, not by name. Out 
of many, one. Thank you, everyone.